Hello, in this video I'm going to show the hidden sound settings on Motorola Moto G86 Power. Okay, so let's open up the settings, find sound and vibration, and let's begin with a few things. So, um, let's scroll down a little bit uh, into those options. In here, for example, if you want, you can enable or disable the dial pad tones, screen locking sound, tap and click sounds, or for example the screenshot sounds, because for some people those things might be annoying and you might didn't know about it that you can completely turn them off or on if you want to uh, have them enabled. Uh, for example, currently the tap and click sounds are uh, turned off, so when I'm clicking on the something there is no sound, uh, but now when I'll turn it on, I'll also uh, pick the phone uh, closer to the microphone, so you might hear it. Uh, I don't know, uh, is it possible for you? Uh, but as now there's uh, simply a, a gentle clicking sound. Uh, for some people it might be cool to have it enabled. And uh, now you know that you can enable it right in here. Uh, but currently, for now, I'll turn it off. But for, like, for, for example, I'll select the screenshot sound on. Uh, we also have the vibration and haptics. We can enable or disable to use them. Uh, when it comes to the calls, we can enable or disable the ring vibration to vibrate first the ring gradually or vibrate for answered calls. When it comes to the notifications, we can enable or disable the, the notification vibration and also the alarm vibration. And when it comes to the haptics, we can turn on the touch feedback or the media vibration. Okay, now let's scroll down uh, and let's select the Dolby Atmos. Okay, so Dolby Atmos delivers a premium listening experience through your phones, loudspeakers and connected devices. If you want to can click on learn more, how it works. So, play the video to celebrate storyteller, inventors and technology making cinema magic together. We have the custom uh, profiles that we can use for our sound. We also have the smart uh, adjustment and also the landscape stereo. When you rotate your device into landscape mode, the speakers will adjust to maintain video stereo playback. Okay, now hit on the settings button if you want to change them. Uh, when it comes to the uh, audio modes, we have the special uh, uh, audio, and for the stereo audio we have the smart audio, music, movie, game, podcast, or the custom. Uh, you can read now on the screen what each option provides. You can also click on the edit button next to each other. And for example, we you can choose the equalizer. And you can brilliantly treble, bass boost and vocal boost. Also, you can enable the surround uh, virtualizer. It creates a surround sound experience through your connected device. And on the bottom we have the volume leveler. Here the same volume level for each audio source. Of course, if you want, you can, for example, select the custom one and manually select the and adjust the equalizer into your own preferences. Below, again, you can select the brilliant treble, bass boost or the vocal boost and enable the volume leveler or surround virtualizer. We also have the Crystal Talk AI. It reduces background noise for VoIP calls. It's also pretty cool. We can enable it. Uh, and the last thing is the uh, live caption. Uh, actually, before it, the media controls. Uh, thanks to that, when we turn it on, uh, when the screen is off, we can hold uh, the volume up or volume down key to select the previous or the next track. You can click on learn more to know how it work and now also we have a tutorial how to use it. Okay, and now the live caption if you enable it. Basically now the phone will detect uh, the speech on our device uh, and it will automatically mm, generate the captions. We can uh, select the languages. If you want to can click on add four more. In here we have a list of uh, the supported 
in the languages. You can also change the caption uh, size and style and enable, for example, to hide the profanity. So when there will be a bad word uh, on the screen, uh, it will be replaced with the uh, asterisk symbol. I'll show you how the live caption works. Uh, let me open up the uh, YouTube. Uh, but uh, actually... Okay, here it is. And now I'll play something. Mm. some uh, video with the sound for example from our channel Okay, so as you can see, the phone detects pretty well what is uh, the sound that is playing, and it's converting it into the captions. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.